nice to see so many faces. When we first got here, there was like a fraction of the group that's here now, and it was like a little disheartening because you bring energy. When you're here sitting in these seats watching us, you give us wonderful, wonderful energy. So thank you. We all thank you. Okay. Like the two characters who are always waiting in the play Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett, we meet two theater patrons who are also waiting in the play Waiting for the Matinee by Eric Kobo and presented by the acting class. <laughs> Nothing to be done. Did you read the program? I read the program. Is it the, the same as mine? Of course it's the same as yours. They only make one program. They who? The program printers, the theater, the graphic people, they. Can I see your program? You've got one. <laughs> yours may be different. They're not different. Every program for every play is the same. Look, ads, 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 statements from the artistic director, information about the setting of the play, ads, 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 biographies of the actors about how talented, busy, and grateful they are, then bios of the technicians, ads, ads. Back cover all held together with two staples. <laughs> if you've seen one program, you've seen them all. Can I see yours? <laughs> you've got one. Yours may be different. There may be an insert. <laughs> There's no insert. <laughs> no understudies? No understudies. Let's go. Turn and walk. <laughs> we can't go. Why not? We're waiting for the matinee. Oh. You sure there is? Um, sure there is what? A matinee. The flyer said at two. Is it two yet? Past. If my watch is right. I don't know. Well, I passed. I'm sorry. Well, it, it, it should be. Is it daylight savings? I don't know. They shouldn't have performances on daylight savings day. People show up late or early and get mad. Are we late? Well, I would guess early. But they gave us tickets. They did give us tickets. Well. Maybe you should leave. The show, the show could start any minute. Not much of a house. Maybe we're early. Or late. Maybe it's over. Maybe no one's coming. Dan, turn and walk. <laughs> <laughs> it is a classic. Everyone's seen it. No need to sit through that again. Or everyone thinks they've seen it. Read it in college. Heard about it from a friend. Or read the review. Mm. Learn just enough to have an opinion and sound knowledgeable at parties to say, Oh, I heard that was good. Yeah, but only spent five minutes reading the review. 
Not two and a half hours in the theater. Exactly. Why don't we do that? We're loyal. We're conscientious. We're theater buffs. We're, We're subscribers. subscribers. <laughs> We're dopes. We're dupes. <laughs> We're matinee challenged. <laughs> We have lousy seats. I wonder if today's a Monday. Do they even do shows on Monday? Maybe the show closed. Maybe it got poor notices and closed. Maybe it got poor notices and the lead actor hung himself from the curtain. <laughs> and he's dead. And it closed. Maybe, maybe you should read your program again. Do you want a throat lozenger? A what? A throat lozenger. Keep your cough under control. I don't have a cough. You might develop one. <laughs> you might start hacking in the middle of a crucial, quiet scene of great depth. Then what would your fellow theater patrons think? Well, I'll open my candy then. My God, woman! Have you been D-E-A-F these past five years? Open your candy now! Before the show starts, haven't you been paying any attention? I must have been talking on my cell phone. It's censoring very loudly. What? Oh. And I have my photographic equipment. Oh my God! <laughs> Turn and walk. Sit. Sit. <laughs> he didn't mean it. <laughs> Show now. Never, never. Oh, oh, there, there's an usher coming to take us away even as we speak. We're doomed. Oh, I don't see any ushers. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't see any actors either. <laughs> what if this is the wrong theater? Huh? What? <laughs> what if this is the wrong theater? What if? On the very next stage, in the very next auditorium, the audience is convulsing with laughter <laughs> at the antics of some lovable yet touching characters we can all relate to. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I think this is definitely the right theater. How do you know? Well, I recognize the room. Oh, this is where we saw that really wonderful play. Which one? The funny one. <laughs> the one that made us laugh and laugh, and we fell in love with the characters. And then we realized that we were facing some hard truths. And we cried, cathartic tears of hope and recognition. Remember? One of the best experiences of my life. Two and a half hours I'll treasure forever. That was here? I remember the theater. We sat here. The actors were on stage over there. They were over the walls. And the lights hung from the ceiling. <laughs> remember the aisles of the cushion chair facing the stage, remember? You sure it was this theater? What other theater could it have been? I Show me another theater like that. I thought it was where we saw that very bad play. What play? The one with the horrible exposition and the stilted dialogue with the characters that made no sense <laughs> and that ugly set. We left it intermission, or we would have had there been an intermission. <laughs> it was awful. Worst experience of my life. Two and a half hours, I will never get back. That was here? I 
remember the theater. It was hell. What if this play is bad too? Maybe we should leave now. <laughs> but what if it's brilliant? We won't know till we've seen it. Well, that's a very big gamble. Very big. Save it to watch TV. Something good must be on. Mm, somewhere. Let's, Let's go, go home, home and, and watch, watch television. television. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today's performance of Waiting for Godot will commence momentarily. Thank you for your patience. Enjoy the show. Ah, oh, that's comforting. Oh. At least we know we're in the right theater. <laughs> they kept us waiting long enough. Well, that's our job, isn't it? What? We are the audience. This is what we do. We show up. We wait in line. We wait for the lights to go down. We wait for the curtains to go up. For the actors to enter. To speak. Wait to see what happens next. How will it end? <laughs> wait in line to leave the theater. Wait to leave the parking lot. And then wait for the next play. <laughs> There's something noble in that. <laughs> it's a great responsibility to do it well, to be always ready, to keep an open mind. Waiting for a peak experience. <laughs> an epiphany. So this does seem to be pushing. Well, shall we go? Yes, let let's go. go.